hi everyone welcome back to the channel this is the next video in the mock interview series with uipath aspirant for the people who are looking this series for the first time in this series i am taking mock interview for candidate based on their resume their experience and their skill set please note that this is just a mock interview it is not for any client any customer or any of the job opportunities the format of the mock interview is absolutely simple the candidate send me the resume i set up some time i take the mock interview and all the confidential details such as the name the company name the project information everything remains confidential with me even the name which you see in the mock interview is changed so you do not have to worry about any of the details once i receive the interview i hide the details we take the interview at the end i guide the candidate that what are the topics he needs to improve upon and i also provide the feedback on the interview so that they can perform well in their live interview in terms of cost the cost of the mock interview is absolutely free for you you don't have to pay me anything you just have to send me your resume and we can set up a common time and i conduct a mock interview for you in case your experience match this mock interview you can go ahead and watch but in case you are coming from a different experience you can go back to the playlist there we have a couple of mock interviews which are already taken you can watch them get some insight and hopefully that should be helpful in your next interview if you want to appear for such a mock interview all you have to do is just drop me an email on the email id which is available in the description having said that let's get started with today's mock interview okay so uh, rajesh today we are going to have a mock interview for you uh, the format okay. of the mock interview would be simple i would be asking question based on your resume and you have to answer at the end i would be telling you the answers to the questions whichever you answered incorrectly and the topics and the areas which you need to improve upon okay yes yes and uh, please note that this is not for any company any job opportunity this is just for your mock interview and while mentioning you are free not to you know give your client company information right so we don't require that information yes, yes okay yes, so we can start by having a quick introduction about yourself yes sir yes my, uh, myself rajesh uh, and i have 5.5 years of experience in it field and in 2.6 years of experience in robotic process automation and uh, in that uh, five years uh, first of all my company was uh, mm -hmm. it was a joint where a desktop support engineer in the same company i had learned uh, uh, the your path and after them they had joined me they had taken me to the same same company i had again joined in the eo path developer that's it okay and uh, so overall you have 2.6 years of experience in rpa ui path right yes 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 yes, yes. okay and have you done any kind of certification yes a certification i had done which one uh ui path certification I oh, know uh, the paid one UI ARD, the advanced certificate or the academy certificate. The academic certificate. Okay, great. So in this two point six years, how many processes you have automated? Um, uh, end to end, I had automated only one process, and the remaining two things was I had in uh, with the team, supported team. Uh, can you talk about the one project which you have done end to end? What was the problem statement? Uh, what was the automation doing? What was your role in it? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I I had I had done one of my project and its name is uh, called quality review project. Quality review review project. Hello. Okay. Can I get okay. Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you. Yeah, Continue. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The quality review project was uh, uh, the, the project of this was uh, yeah. simply we need to extract the word documents and the extracted word documents was uh, we need to post in the web application and during this time uh, the uh, the extracted fields are we are stored in the data table hmm. and the data table required fields are we are store, we are sending to the web application as per the required client and the main purpose of this project was the uh, healthcare hmm. healthcare project and whenever uh, the customer or anybody wants to know any fields of things means like uh, any favor and their insurance policy hmm. like that 
this application was used for them. Okay, so it's an attended or it's an unattended robot? Uh, unattended. Okay, so what is the expected output, right? What would be the output of this process? Uh, output of this process was uh, the, uh, the customer will give the daily basis of uh, uh, Word documents. From mm -hmm. that Word document, the bot needs to extract the required fields and mm -hmm. we need to update to the web application. Understood. Now, tell me one thing. Is it a transactional processing? Is it built on framework? Yes, yes it is built on completely on RE framework. Uh, so, when you say RE framework, dispatcher and performer, there would be two robots, right? Yes, yes, dispatcher and performer. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what is the data which you are adding to the queue? Yes, yes. We, 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 are, adding, we are adding to the two which are extracted from the Word document. And these are Word documents we are stored in the data table. And this data table was added to the queue. And uh, and at the time of performer, we are extra, uh, we are uh, uh, retrieving the data from the performer, and we are sending to the web application in the same RE framework. There are queue item, right? In the yes, yes, yes. Orchestrator. What what is inside the queue item? What is that data? Uh -huh. uh, inside the data is a uh, uh, value integer values like uh, 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 like customer uh, sending the bill items like hmm. the amount. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, some uh, some amount of favor favor having how much amount we need to pay and the cancer or anything like like that amount we will extract okay. from that word document. So and basically, all those the... information. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Can you tell me how many transactions your robot is processing? Uh, my my robot is uh, processing only uh, you are asking about daily or. Uh, Okay, let me ask a different question, right? How is the automation scheduled, right? Is it on daily basis, weekly basis? A daily basis, daily basis. Uh, customer will give the daily. Hmm. If uh, the word document was not available, then we will throw an exception, business exception. No, that is fine. Uh, so it's a running on daily basis, right? So on yes, daily yes, basis, sir. you receive how many word files? Uh, daily basis, uh, we receive uh, around uh, uh, 10 to 15 word files. Okay, so if I receive 10 to 15 word files, that means I would be adding my queue would have 10 to 15 items, right? In the queue. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, and how much time does it take to complete one item? Uh, one item means uh, approximately it will take 15 to 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes for one item. No, no, no. One item means uh, that the uh, word document. In the word document, uh, approximately there will be the particular fields we need to extract from the word document. Hmm. In that uh, fields, maybe 15 to 20 items we need to extract, and hmm. the same items we need to uh, send to the web application hmm. for one particular Word document. Okay. For okay. each Word document, it will take 15 minutes. Can you tell me what are the dependency which we require to do the Word automation? For dependencies, Word documents means uh, we, we will use the Word document. Uh, if we are from customer, uh, we from customer we will download the the customer will give the web share point. From mm -hmm. the website point, we will download that uh, Word document. Customer will give our credentials. Okay, fine. So now, uh, which activity in UI path we are using to download the data from the web share point? Which are, uh, Google Chrome, uh, this web application. In web application, we no, no. need to download the share point. Yeah, but which activity in UI path I would require, right? So for example, I have to show a message box. I will use message box activity, right? Yes, but yes, if yes, I have yes, to yes. download from the SharePoint, which activity is there to download it from SharePoint? Uh, uh, download Word document. Download Word document. Yes. Okay. And which package this download Word document activity is coming? Which package? Uh, the, this will uh, come in the ma manage. From manage, we, we can download from the manage Word document package. But what will I do in the manage? No, no, no. We, we need to uh, hmm. uh, update the package. Which package? That's the uh, question. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, uh, UiPath, uh, UiPath download manager package. UiPath download manager package? Yes. Okay. Okay, so you downloaded the Word file from the SharePoint, right? Now, yes, which yes. activity in UiPath you are using to read the Word document? Uh, okay, read, read, uh, read Word document package. Read hmm. range. Read, read range. range. No, no. Uh, the activities we we are uh, we are getting from Word document, and we are giving this activity to the we are sending the activities to the data table. Sending which are the activities getting That's from the Word document. But uh -huh. which I have a Word file, right? Now I want to read the Word file. Which activity I will use? Uh, 
So for example, for reading Excel, I have read range, right? Yes, sir. So for reading read a word file, what is the activity? Uh, uh, read CSV. Read CSV. So when you read CSV, CSV means a comma separated file. Okay. And you have a MS word, right? So read CSV cannot word read a word file. Okay, fine. Let's let, okay. let's take let I'll tell you the activity. We have something which is called word application scope. Okay. 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 So in the word application scope, you read the word file, right? Okay. Now tell me what okay. is the output when you read the word file into UiPath? What will you get? Yeah. Uh, output will be the dot x dot x file. Okay, no, you are not getting my question, right? When I read an Excel in UI path, what do I get? When you read an Excel in the uh, data table, you will get. Right. Similarly, when I would read a Word file, what would I get? When you, when we read in a Word file, we will get uh, mm -hmm. uh, a data table. Data table. Can you tell me what is a data table? Data table. Uh, hmm. And uh, da data table is which we want to store the data. Mm -hmm. which is uh, having data into rows and columns. Uh, rows and columns. Okay, so when you read the data from the word, you cannot get a data table, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. So what do you get? Your complete automation get... is built on word automation, right? And yes, you don't yes, know yes. the activities, right? Does not make sense. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. When we uh, read in Word document, we... Uh... Okay, let me ask a different okay. question, right? Which activity okay. you are using to add the data to the queue? The add queue item. Why? You have a data table, right? Already. Yeah, yeah, we have already the data table. The data table, we, we need to uh, add the items to the queue. No? Then only we need to get from the Correct. items. Right. So we have an activity which is called bulk add queue item, which directly adds the data table. Yes, yes. Right. but in bulk add queue item, there is no unique reference uh, because unique reference is not there in bulk. Okay. That's why so, we are using add queue item. So what is your unique reference? Uh, unique reference means say, uh, uh, means some, some items will be the unique where we are extracting the data. That's no, why we are but what is your unique using. reference in this process, right? So the automation which we are talking, the SharePoint, right? What is your unique reference? Okay, okay. My my unique reference is only we need to extract the integer value, not the uh, alpha type characters and anything. And how do you add the unique reference in the queue? Uh, by giving the co uh, code by unique reference, uh, characters are not allowed. Where? In a unique reference. But where is that unique reference? Uh, that unique reference will be the add queue item mm -hmm. in the properties. We okay. can add there. Okay, so what will you add there? You will add that do not add string, right? You will just uh, say that string. You would just say that add only the integers, right? Yes, add only integers. And how do you do yes, yes. write that condition in UiPath, right? I cannot simply go and say that do not add string, right? I need to write something. Yes, what, yes, yes, what, yes. what, what will I write? To, uh, we, uh, we need some lo logic in that uh, item. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is that logic? Uh, logic means uh, uh, if condition, if you use a uh, if condition, characters. Mm -hmm. And how do you know whether the condition is there or not? Uh, if condition means if characters are, uh, if uh, without integer, uh, uh, if we need to allow only the integers, if not else, uh, characters, mm -hmm. then it close the application. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Fine. I am just going through your uh, resume. Okay. And uh, you say that you have hands on experience in creating the PDD and the SDD. Can you tell me the difference between a PDD and SDD? A PDD means process design uh, document and SDD means solution division document. Okay. PDD at the time of uh, pro uh, process division document means. Uh, uh, at the time of we are running the, we are creating the bot. Each and mm -hmm. every step uh, they will create a uh, project explanation. This step we need to do and where the items we need to extract and all the details they will give in the PDD. Hmm. Uh, and after the solution design documents means uh, uh, overall the product after the solution in that document it will available. Uh, what kind of project we are doing and everything. 
Okay, so cool. I'm done with my set of questions. Okay. Now, okay, before okay. I come to your feedback, how do you think your interview was? Not that much strange. We need, I need to work out in my project. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you think if it is a real-time interview, you would get selected? No, 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 no. Right. So I can I clearly to, see that think... you do not have any experience in your path. You do not know even the basics also. Okay. The questions which I ask are purely based on your resume. There is some feedback on the resume as well. Your resume okay. has a lot of spelling mistakes. Uh -huh. Right. You have mentioned UI path incorrectly. A lot of places. UI space path. Right. It's not UI space path. It's UI path as a single. I see a lot of spelling mistakes. Right. In your resume. And uh, uh -huh. apart from that, there is no... Uh, technical stuff which you have mentioned it's all theory theory and theory right uh, so i think you need to work on your resume the second thing is talking about your uh, project and all right your project explanation is not at all good you need to work upon project explanation i uh, was not able to understand what your project is doing and on top of that when i ask you the basic questions on the project which you have told me you're not able to answer me right uh, yes, yes. dependency, SharePoint, all this, right? All these are very, 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 very basic question, right? You are telling me that to read the word file, I will use read CSV, word application scope. You tell me dependencies which are not available. You don't know what do you get when you read a word file, right? A reference, yes, you yes, know, sir. you know that what is the difference between add queue and the bulk queue, but you do not know how do you add in reference, right? You are telling me that I'll specify a reference such as not string does not make sense right so right okay, so I, I will get to learn right so learn is one thing you definitely need to go back and redo your all the learning foundation right that's what i would recommend go back and yes, do yes, your yes. all the learnings this project right whatever you are mentioning in the project i can feel that you have not done this project because if you have done this project you would know the activities you would know the exception you would know how do you configure the unique references at all right uh, so seems like you have not done this project if you have done it and you are not able to explain that might be the different scenario so i would like you to go back to the project see what you have done and yes, then yes, put yes, it yes. on the resume right otherwise yes, and yes, i yes. trust me i have yes, only yes, asked yes, you the I, basics question okay yes, 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 your yes, experience yes, is yes. a 5.5 years now right nobody is going to hire you as a junior developer you are going to get more advanced questions on UiPath now because you are having experience of 5.5, right? You are going to yes, get yes, the yes, questions yes. as a senior developer, but you are not able to ask the basic questions. So I didn't move to the advanced ones, yes, right? Sir, so understand. you need to learn more, practice more, and just work on these points. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Cool. <clears throat> Over to you. Do you have any questions now? Uh, in which uh, area I need to learn from uh, basic to improve myself? You need to redo your developer starting. foundation. Okay, okay. Yeah, but uh, from starting onwards. Yes, starting onwards, right? Because the data table, string, integer, right? All these are the basics RP developer foundation. So I would suggest redo your developer foundation from Academy. Okay, then do the okay, orchestrator okay. and then do the RE framework, right? Only three courses. Yes, yes, yes. Studio, RP, okay. RE framework and orchestrator. Studio, these three RE courses you need to do again. No, no need yes. to skip the... Uh, lessons right whatever practice exercises they give you need to do them and then go ahead and continue right yes yes, so yes, yes. that way you have after to this uh, again uh, i uh, after this learning again i will uh, uh, give another mock interview to yes definitely and thank you i hope this was helpful and uh... yes it's very great help <laughs> okay all the best and see you soon okay so that is all for this video I would like to wrap this video here. I hope this was insightful. If you have any more questions, any more doubts, feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well. I would appreciate your feedback on the video and tell me in the comments what would be the next topic or next video you want to see. So with that, I would wrap this video here. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do subscribe to the channel and Happy Automation.